हेलो एवरी वन इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट ए गिप्स हेल्मसॉट इक्वेशन सो गिप्स हेल्मसॉट इक्वेशन वी नो दैट द गिप्स एनर्जी इज डिनोटेड बाय द सिंबॉल कैपिटल जी ओके द गिप्स एनर्जी डिनोटेड बाय द सिंबॉल कैपिटल जी एंड द फॉर्मूला फॉर द गिप्स एनर्जी इज जी इज इक्वल टू एच माइनस टी एस वेयर जी इज द गिप्स एनर्जी एच इज द एंथालपी and this t is the temperature and s is the entropy okay uh, according to formula for the enthalpy we know that the enthalpy is nothing but internal energy plus pressure volume energy okay enthalpy is nothing but internal energy plus pressure volume energy so now we are going to put this h value in this equation so the equations become g is equal to h plus pv minus ts and uh, for reversible process as a isothermally we can uh, conclude this equation in the form of delta g plus delta h minus t delta z uh, so here the temperature remains constant after the di differentiation so this gives the equation number 1 all right then now differentiating the equation this equation g is equal to h plus pv minus ts now we are going to differentiate this equation so what we get so uh, we get dg okay uh, after differentiation of e it will becomes de and this quantity will differentiation will give it gives pdv plus vdp that means the first term will be constant and differentiation of second term and in next one we will uh, take a first quantity that is the quantity this uh, get a constant and differentiation of pressure okay and after this minus sign and now we are going to differentiate t and s so differentiation of ts first quantity is constant differentiation of second term and minus first uh, second term is constant and differentiation of first term that is the temperature so so we we, we get the equation dg is equal to de plus pdv plus vdp minus tds minus sdt okay we know that the formula for entropy the formula for entropy is the q by t so the process is reversible so formula for entropy is the ds is equal to q upon t the q reversible represent the the process is reversible okay now in place of tds after shifting this t well, our rhs to lhs we get tds is equal to q reversible so tds Uh, get converted into the q reversible okay we get the equation dg is equal to de plus pdv plus vdp minus q reversible minus sdt this is the equation and according to first law of thermodynamics according to first law of thermodynamics the definition for entropy uh, sorry internal energy is the the q plus w that means the heat plus work so this is the formula for internal energy internal energy is equal to q plus w but in case of w we write the minus pdv okay de is equal to q reversible minus pdv this is the equation for internal energy and uh, after differentiation we, we we get the equation de is equal to q reversible minus pdv this w get converted into the w is equal to minus pdv so this internal energy can be represented or get converted into the q reversible minus pdv this de uh, this quantity q reversible minus pdv we have to keep over here so q reversible minus pdv so this q reversible and uh, this q reversible get cancel out and uh, this minus pdv and this P plus pdv get cancel out so finally we get the equation dg is equal to this vdp minus sdt dg is equal to vdp minus sdt this is the equation and at a constant pressure okay now the equation for the constant pressure at a constant pressure what we get this term will get cancel out at a constant pressure we get only the term dg is equal to minus sdt so dg is equal to minus sdt and uh, after this uh, from this equation 
if we have to uh, put this right hand side quantity from left hand side so it will get uh, in the de denominator form so finally we get the equation dg divided by dt at a constant pressure okay at a constant pressure we get only remaining minus s that is the minus entropy okay uh, from the equation of uh, delta s that means the uh, differentiation for the entropy we have delta s is equal to s2 minus s1 okay s2 minus s1 so from this equation if we put sine delta over here so this uh, g and t becomes also in a delta form so uh, for for s2 for s2 what we written delta s delta s uh, in in place of s2 we have to put uh, this value dg2 by dt2 at a constant pressure minus sign and the minus sign dg1 divided by dt1 at a constant pressure and we have one minus sign this minus sign we have to keep over here okay so from after combining this equation s2 minus s1 that is the from here we get the delta value the uh, finally we get the this minus sign this minus sign uh, kept over here and d delta g dt at a constant pressure this is the final value for the delta s so for isothermal process we have to uh, sim uh, we have to symbolize this equation equation number 1 so this delta s value we have to uh, put up in this equation number 1 so from equation number what we get dg this dg delta h delta h and t uh, this minus sign and this minus sign will get converted into the positive sign so positive and this t and not d this is the value for the delta s this is the value for the delta s we have to keep over it this is the final equation for the gibbs helmsworth equation gibbs helmsworth equation uh, the main thing and the very important thing is that this equation is applicable not only for the reversible this is also applicable for the irreversible process and from this equation we have to calculate the value of enthalpy we have to calculate the value of enthalpy if we know the value of uh, delta g that is the gibbs energy and the temperature okay we know the value of gibbs energy as well as the temperature and we can easily calculate the value for the enthalpy so this is the finally equation of the gibbs helmsworth equation okay now we are moving towards the limitations as well as the application of gibbs helmsworth equation first of all we get the equation that is the gibbs helmsworth equation is delta g is equal to delta h plus t in bracket d delta g divided by dt at a constant pressure okay first of all we have to see the limitation what are the limitations of the gibbs helmsworth equation so moving towards the first limitation it is applicable only for the closed system okay this equation applicable only for the closed system and this equation doesn't uh, make any change or, or any uh, applications for the uh, open system so it is strictly applicable only for closed system and the second limitation is system must be remain equilibrium at the initial and the final state so the system must be uh, remains at an equilibrium position from initial to the final as we know that the enthalpy entropy these terms are uh, the uh, state function therefore these are gibbs energy or the gibbs helmsworth equation also the state function so this is the uh, the second limitation is that the system must be remains in a equilibrium position from initial to final set now we are see we are going to see the application part of this gibbs helmsworth equation so what is the first application for this equation the first application is that it is also applicable for reversible as well as the irreversible uh, in generally we have to see we have seen that uh, if the equation is applicable for reversible then the, it is uh, doesn't applicable for irreversible but the main and the helpful and important thing about gibbs helmsworth equation is that it is also 
the applicable for the reversible as well as the irreversible processes. Uh, from this equation we can calculate the enthalpy change that is the delta H. We can calculate the enthalpy change if we know the value of delta G and the temperature factor. The third, uh, the third point or the third application is that if the delta G of process is known at a given temperature then we can calculate the another temperature okay we can calculate the another temperature if we know the initial temperature we can we can calculate the the final temperature what is the final temperature of the system we can easily calculate so these are the limitations as well as the application part of the Gibbs Hemsworth equation okay thank you all of you thank you everyone